So you want to start vlogging and you have one of these, a Canon M6, or you're thinking about getting one. And it doesn't matter whether you have the Mark I version or the Mark II, the issue is still the same. And this has been covered in so many YouTube videos. But now there's a fix that works on the Mark I as well. And in the four years I've had this camera, I've tried five different ways to try and fix the mistake that Canon made. And this one that I'm gonna call the Moo Smith method is the best one yet. So this was the biggest issue for vloggers when the Canon M6 was first released. And what made it worse was when Canon then updated the camera with the Mark II version, this was also the only thing that they didn't fix. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I have a Canon R5 and you may be wondering, why is it that I still use the M6? Well, it's small, it's lightweight, and more importantly, it can be picked up secondhand fairly cheap now which means if I do drop my vlogging camera, and this happens a lot more than I'd like to admit, I'm probably not gonna be crying for as long as if I dropped my R5 that I'm filming with now. So a few weeks ago, Moo Smith posted a video about her Canon M6 Mark II and the flip up screen external microphone problem. And if you haven't found Moo on YouTube already and you're into cameras and photography and that type of stuff, definitely check out Moo's channel. I will leave a link to that in the description below. In the video, Moo showed off a product from Small Rig who typically make camera cages and frames to go on small cameras and usually with it that comes a lot of weight. But this product was so small, so simple and just perfect for the M6 Mark II that I thought maybe Small Rig have got something for the Mark I as well. And they didn't. So it seemed like I was gonna be stuck with my Frankenstein method of attaching a microphone. I figured I can't be the only one in 2021 still using a Canon M6 Mark I. For the benefit of everyone else that's out there that's still using this camera, I did a bit of research, I took some measurements, and then I ordered one. And I can confirm that yes, it fits on the camera. It's not perfect. There's a bit of a gap here where the M6 Mark II is a slightly larger camera, but it is a fairly simple solution that can be left on the camera when you throw it in your bag, unlike my Franken mount. And the other added bonus of this is that the battery door still opens. It doesn't open completely fully, but it opens enough to take the battery out along with the SD card as well. Small Rig do have a number of other options for the M6 Mark II. I haven't tried any of these, but I have taken measurements. I've looked at these in detail, and I don't think that they're gonna fit the Mark I version. So if you do have a Mark I, only use this specific mount, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But hang on a second. I said that I tried five different ways of attaching the microphone to the M6, and I've only shown you two in this video. So if you wanna see another method that's also pretty good, click here. See you guys in the next one.